An Uber driver says he was wrongfully terminated by the rideshare company. As New Center Maine's Hannah Deneen shows us, the driver says it all stems from riders refusing to wear masks. In the beginning, I would ask them, I would plead with them. I would stay there and plead with them. Former Uber driver Danny Darling would plead for riders to wear a mask. I would get the middle finger. I would get my car kicked. I would get my car punched. Worried for his safety, Darling began to cancel rides when riders would approach without a mask, citing the violation. That's one of the features that Uber started doing on June 1st, that you could cancel them for no, not wearing a mask. Also starting June 1st, before accepting a ride through the Uber app, riders must agree to wear a mask. Okay. Darling didn't mind losing some business. No, I'm not financially that desperate. I don't want to die or get sick going to work. The problem, those riders he refused to pick up filed complaints. I was on the assumption that Uber would protect you right now. I was wrong. On Saturday, after two and a half years of driving for Uber full time, Darling was told he could no longer work for the company. Uber cited unsafe practices and problematic behavior. Honestly, I loved helping people. I love it. I love bringing people to the places they need to go. In our community. Another Portland area Uber driver who wished to remain anonymous says he won't refuse unmasked riders. I've taken it myself to, you know, still give the ride because this is my life, this is my job. I can't afford to get fired over, you know, false information. Showing rideshare drivers face a dilemma, protect their health and that of everyone they drive. I'm not wearing my Batman mask to protect me. Or risk bad ratings or worse, losing a job they love. In Portland, Hannah Deneen, New Center, Maine. Darling has filed an appeal with Uber and a formal complaint with Governor Mills' office. At last check, Uber says his case is being looked at by a specialized team.